a fire burning uncontrollably. No one seems to be able to put it out. Its flames are raging, spreading from room to room. The sound of the fire roaring aggressively. A fire truck finally arrives and extinguishes the whole fire in mere minutes. Our sins are like this scorching fire. But what is the fire extinguisher for our vices? There's one deed that you can do today that extinguishes the wrath of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm your brother Abu Abdus Salam speaking to you from the blessed city of Mecca. That's Mecca al Mukarramah. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu a companion of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, maintaining family ties increases lifespan and secret charity extinguishes the Lord's wrath, his anger. This hadith is in al jamia al saghir and is authenticated by Albani. Allahu Akbar. Can you imagine brothers and sisters what this simple act, giving charity, can do for your sins, especially in Ramadan? Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the most generous of people. And he was the most generous in Ramadan when Jibreel alayhi salam met him. Jibreel alayhi salam used to meet the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam every night during the month of Ramadan and study the Quran with him. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma also said, when Jibreel alayhi salam met him, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was more generous in doing good than the blowing wind. This hadith is reported by Al-Nasa'i and authenticated by Al-Bani. My brothers and sisters, always remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala values consistent good deeds, even if they are small, provided that you persist and don't overexert yourself. Aisha radiallahu anha, the wife of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa reported that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, the acts most pleasing to Allah are those which are done most consistently, even if they amount to little. This hadith was reported by both Bukhari and Muslim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ أَنْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلَ فِي كُلِّ سُنْبُلَةٍ مِئَةُ حَبَّةٍ وَاللَّهُ يُضَاعِفُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعٌ عَلِيمٌ The example of those who spend their wealth in the path of Allah is that of a grain that sprouts into seven ears, each bearing 100 grains. And Allah multiplies the reward even more for whomsoever He wills. And Allah is all-bountiful, all-knowing. This is in Surah Al-Baqarah. Subhanallah, how generous is Allah? If even at a normal time of the year, your small act of giving can multiply into up to 700 times. Can you imagine how much more potent this effect is in Allah's most beloved month, the month of Ramadan? It was narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari from Adi ibn Hatim radiallahu an, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, protect yourselves from the fire even with half a date. So it's not just about giving huge amounts in charity. Here the Prophet sallallahu is showing that even giving something as small and inexpensive as a date can save a person from the hellfire. Another important thing to note is that charity in Islam is a means to strengthen the bonds of our brotherhood. It's not just about giving, it's also about connecting hearts within the ummah and creating unity. In Islam, sadaqah, which is often translated as charity, is not limited just to monetary aid. It's also about selflessness, sharing love and kindness. Every act of goodness is a sadaqah. In fact, the Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith narrated by Muslim, Every morning, charity is due from every joint bone of the body of every one of you. Every utterance of subhanallah is an act of charity. Every utterance of alhamdulillah is an act of charity. Every utterance of La ilaha illallah is an act of charity. Every utterance of Allahu Akbar is an act of charity. And enjoining the good is an act of charity. And forbidding the evil is an act of charity. And in another narration in Bukhari, the Prophet ﷺ said, Every act of goodness is a charity. SubhanAllah. Start small, share a meal, smile, help someone. Let's revive this sunnah in Ramadan and inshallah we get the reward of charity. Remember, sadaqa or charity is not just for the wealthy. Every Muslim can contribute in their own way according to their own means. And it's not just about money, it can be simpler than you can imagine. Let's make a change this Ramadan. What simple acts of sadaqa would you recommend? Let's brainstorm. Share your thoughts in the comments and encourage the rest of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us 
all with the ability to give and care for one another. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our charity, all our sadaqa. Jazakumullahu khayran. I'm your brother Abu Abdus Salam speaking to you from Mecca. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.